Yeah, it was exciting. Uh, I was sitting there, staring at the phone, waiting for the call, and uh, they called the, the other phone. So, um, yeah, it was pretty cool. Even though you know where you're going, you still want to act as if you don't. Uh, you never know what happened as the rest of the draft is shown. Uh, so I'm excited to be a risk. It's not beneath you. Yeah, you coach Shanahan, you know, everyone knows him for, for John Elway. Um, but, you know, even aside from that, uh, being a Bronco fan growing up, uh, you know, I watched him do things with a lot of running backs, a lot of guys that they said they couldn't do it, uh, and he made sure they could. So he's a great coach. Uh, and from what I've heard, he allows his players to, to have input on what they do. Uh, so not that I'm going to go in and say, hey, we need to do this, this, and this, uh, but I'll definitely, you know, you know, try to be open with him just like I know he's going to be open with me. Uh, it's going to be an exciting division. I mean, I, uh, growing up in Texas, you, you see that division a lot. Uh, it's one, it, if not the best division, it's one of the best divisions in football. Great quarterback play, great pass rushers. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of excitement in the division. Uh, and I also don't look forward to playing against Morris Claiborne all the time. Hey, hey Robert. Hey, Robert. How's your dad feel? Robert. Uh, you, you try not to fit in anywhere. You try to just see where you mold. Uh, and obviously, I mold with the Redskins. Uh, but you don't play quarterbacks in this league. Uh, you will always be compared head to head, but you play defenses. So I'm looking forward to playing the defenses uh, in this division. Hey, Robert, how's your fat how's dad feel? How's dad feel? Yeah. Dad, how do you feel? <laughs> <laughs> very excited, very pleased that Robert's going to Redskins. You know, glad that you know he is um, going to, um, under coach who's. He was a fan of, so that's a really good deal for him. You know, in North Texas, it's always a hard feeling to be Dallas and Washington. Are you afraid that there might be a boycott of Subway restaurants in the Dallas area? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea on that. I'm sure if they get hungry enough, they'll get that $5 foot long. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, hopefully uh, they don't, uh, you know, root against myself, but I know I'm a Redskin now and I have to take on everything. Uh, that's being a part of the Redskins, so there'll be some Dallas fans that, that just don't like me anymore, as a, even as a person, just at their core. So I understand that. Hey, Rob, Rob, you said you grew up yesterday. You had to wait a little bit longer. What do you know about the already had the I mean, you try to research as much as you possibly can to, to make sure you're ready. So I definitely researched the you know the O line and the receivers. Uh, and the running backs, um, basically every position on offense, to uh, to make sure I knew what I was working with, and then to be able to go and see see a guy and shake his hand, and to where he doesn't have to tell me what his name is, uh, I know who he is right away. Uh, so I'm looking forward to, to using the weapons that we have on offense, um, and then playing with a great defense. You got a guy like London Fletcher. Uh, you know, I know how it was for some of our seniors uh, the year before we broke our ball drought at Baylor, uh, and they didn't get to experience that. So I know London Fletcher. Uh, and if everything goes perfect, has three to five years to play. But I know he wants to win right now. So I'm looking forward to, to going out and being that guy that can help them win. Hey, Robert, give your offense. Yeah, I mean, obviously the receivers that they just picked up, Pierre Garcon and Josh Morgan, uh, they've got a lot of weapons. Anthony Armstrong's one of the fastest guys in the league. Uh, Leonard Hankerson's a young guy who got hurt last year that can, can really make some plays. Um, you got Santana Moss, can't forget about that guy from the U. Uh, you know, I watched him growing up, not that he's old, but uh, <laughs> I, I look forward to, to playing with all these guys, you know, just using their skills. Uh, and I want them to know that even though some do look at, at me as a running quarterback, uh, I play quarterback first. Um, and then when it, nothing's there, then I try to make something happen. So I'll play within the system and then get ready to, uh, you know, do whatever I have to do if nothing's there. Hey, Robert, Robert, Robert. Where Robert, Robert. Robert. Comes from have you given any thought to the fact your professional football debut is going to be in New Orleans? Yes, I have. I, I'm actually from New Orleans. Uh, my dad was born and raised there. My whole family is based out of there. So the NFL has a, a, a tricky way of getting things done. You know, we play the Colts in the third week of the preseason. And then uh, you know, the first game I, I get to play uh, will be in the Superdome, which is my hometown. So definitely looking forward to it. Um, you know, they got a lot of great players uh, on the Saints. Uh, just you know, just looking to go win. Robert, Robert, they say the most important position in Washington D.C., other than the President of the United States, is the quarterback of the Washington Redskins. How do you intend to handle that pressure? Um, you know, you want pressure as a quarterback. Uh, it can keep you straight. Make sure you're doing the right things. Uh, but the biggest thing is I'll make sure I involve my teammates. 
Uh, you don't want to take on that type of attention all by yourself. Well, hey, on that, you're going to be in D.C. You're a smart guy. We've talked a lot. Are you going to get involved in politics at all? I can see you going in that direction. I got to worry about football before I can worry about politics, so I'll let uh, President Obama and all the other politicians do that. Uh, I just got to focus on, you know, learning the offense, getting to know the guys, uh, and move forward from there. Robert. I'm actually sent out a tweet to the Redskins since I can now. <laughs> <laughs> Robert, you were the Redskins traded four guys to get the pick, to, to uh, four picks to get your pick. What's it like? Is there additional pressure in having that much given up for a franchise to come get you? Yeah, I mean that that question goes along <laughs> with the question of um, you know the excitement by the fans. I think it is excitement. It's not just about. Uh, who's going to be playing quarterback? It's about uh, the team that they have in place already. So I don't look at it as any added pressure. If anything, it, uh, it makes me want to go out and get to work uh, even sooner. Um, they believe in me. That's why they gave so many picks up for me. Uh, and, you know, there's been quarterbacks, uh, great quarterbacks that have had terrible rookie years. I don't want to be that guy. I'm going to make sure I do everything to make sure I'm not that guy. But, you know, Peyton Manning had a, you know, uh, not a great year as, as a rookie. And uh, he's now considered one of the best of all time. So you just got to work through the bumps and I'll try to succeed uh, in whatever ways you can. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> uh, you know, I, I think about the other guys uh, that are back there and if you use the whole 10 minutes, uh, it makes those guys have to stay back there a lot longer and uh, build up their anxiety. So, uh, you know, I'm glad they didn't do that. Um, you know, the rest of the draft's been pretty crazy, but, uh, you know, a lot of those guys back there are going to get their, their name called, and I'm happy for them all. One more question, last question. Um, you know, Baylor Athletics has been great. Uh, all sports this year did a great job of uh, bringing their, their skills to the forefront. Both basketball teams, uh, the football team, our baseball team is on fire right now. Um, so you never know what the tennis and golf teams are going to do. They're always up there. Uh, so it's been great. Um, you know, you call me the leader of that, but uh, it was more than just myself. There's the Brittany Grinders. Uh, there's the guys that people don't even think about. You know, Kendall Wright, Philip Blake uh, on the football team, Perry Jones, Quincy Miller, uh, Pierre Jackson on the basketball team. All those people uh, helped uh, do that, and it's all thanks to Baylor Nation. Gary, last question. You're good. Okay, thank you guys. Jersey up too. Hold on, Jersey up. Sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. Sir. I know you're doing very nice. <laughs>